Burettes and pipettes are used to precisely measure small amounts of liquids. These instruments are different because they measure how much liquid has been released, not how much liquid is in the cylinder. This burette is used to measure up to 20 milliliters of liquid, and this pipette is used to measure up to 10 milliliters of liquid. The marked divisions on both instruments are equal to 1 milliliter and are smallest at the top and largest at the bottom. The unmarked divisions are equal to one-tenth milliliter. This means that the volume can be measured to one-hundredth milliliter. Both the burette and the pipette are filled to the top mark, but the reading is zero-hundredths milliliters because none of the liquid has been released. As the liquid flows out of the bottom of the instruments, the volume recorded increases. To read the volume of a liquid in a burette or pipette, record digits by looking at the last graduation above the meniscus and reading down. In this example, the last graduation above the meniscus is 5 milliliters. There is one unmarked division above the meniscus, and each division represents one-tenth milliliter. So the certain digits of the reading are 5 and one-tenth milliliters. The bottom of the meniscus is almost to the second division, so it is estimated to be eight hundredths milliliters. The volume of liquid released is five and eighteen hundredths milliliters, which has three significant figures. As we mentioned, burettes and pipettes are used to measure how much liquid is released, and sometimes the liquid measurement does not start at zero tenths milliliters. The valve was opened, and some of the liquid was released from the burette. What is the new volume of the liquid? The correct answer is 17 and 24 hundredths milliliters. To determine how much liquid was released, subtract the initial volume from the final volume. How much liquid was released from the burette? The correct answer is B, 10 and 86 hundredths milliliters.